plastic plastic that don't break down for about 500 years or a thousand years or thin plastic that breaks down and ends up in fish, in the seafood, in the rivers, in the oceans, and the plastic. What's the most uh, damaging? Um, our mindsets when we're doing things we're not conscious of the kind of waste that we're producing. If everyone did their part, even if it's just ten percent, it make a huge difference in the environment. It's a place where you can come and uh, get your regular items. Uh, so we usually tell our customers we're like the uh, Federal chip. Icon. It's a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more pretty looking inside there. But essentially, what we've tried to do is uh, uh, provide all the basic necessities that you use from your food items, like your basic uh, cooking ingredients, uh, rice uh, to your personal care items like your toothbrush and toothpaste, and uh, even uh, the shelves on our back here, you'll get things like shower cream. Uh, Floor wash, you know, uh, basically everything that you will get from your normal convenience store, but unpackaged. Or at the very least, if they do come in package, then it's something that you can um, come and return the packaging, and the packaging will uh, keep being reused. So that is the concept of. Uh, of yeah. So just just to build on what he said, we are more than a kadai budget. We have a purpose. The bigger purpose to fulfill the non-packaging sector where you can come in and continue to reuse your existing containers, your jars. Uh, it's the purpose of wanting to um, help make this planet heal. Physically, we have three sections. We have moods, foods and goods. So the mood section carries the zero waste lifestyle products, all the reusable uh, stuff like tiffins, your uh, collapsible cups, your uh, reusable stainless steel straws, and we also have skincare, beauty care, um, all in moods. And then there's also foods, self-explanatory. We have dry foods, uh, nuts, spices, herbs, package free cereal, homemade, handmade fettuccine, pastas, mushrooms, dry mushrooms, we have Asian spices, we have lentils, we have dal, we have Asian spices, we have rice, we have unpackaged noodles, uh, and then we have goods which is behind, uh, behind us, the household cleaning products, uh, insect repellent range, and we also have refillable essential oils, and we have a pet section, because we love animals. We have nitrogen coffee which is really good because it's cold brew and it's put in, in the tank and it has a nitrogen that goes through, a nitrogen tube that goes through and you get nitrogen coffee and it's really good because the nitrogen helps to preserve the coffee and uh, it helps to lift the different notes of the Okay, um, the spot. This is something that we uh, sell very popularly in the store. Uh, this is a favorite of mine because it's, it's handy. It, uh, we use it every few days uh, at lunch or basically when you need anything. Just pop it in your car, in your bag. So this, so this folds it out. It's a nice travel uh, size. It's in the palm. So that's one. Uh, the other would be uh, something from the Brands range, something that we carry. It's 100% natural. If you see, I'm sure you can see, it's called Bye Bye Chicha. Uh, there is also Bye Bye Yamo, there is Bye Bye uh, Samo, and also Lipas. So, the great thing about this is, is there's finally something that is 100% natural that you can safely spray in the house. And we use it in the houses as well. It's non toxic, it's non toxic. It's non toxic. We're you can trying to salty. Yeah. It's salty. Yeah, you can spray it in the mouth. A lot of people. Yeah, chicha for some reason. I personally don't it's use chicha. Season. Chicha season. I use in my house uh, providing pass and providing yeah, Everyone knows what your house is invested with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my two favorite items is the life-changing menstrual cup 
it really is a life changer. Um, mainly because, well, this replaces your disposable pads um, as well as your tampons. So, it for for women, this menstrual cup, yeah, it can save thousands of disposable pads and tampons ending up in the landfills. Um, it's very light and handy, um, very useful. It's like my new best friend. Try it. Try it. The second best thing, my second favorite thing here is um, well, the solid toothpaste. It's really amazing as well because it's um, it replaces the toothpaste in a plastic tube or basically all the ones that you know, we're used to buying and bringing home with us. This one is refillable. So you can buy this whole tin, okay, to use it. It's also light so it's good for traveling. Wet your toothbrush, pick it up and you know, let it dry. And when it finishes, we sell refills. So you can just come in, get the refill, pop it in, and you're good to go. Zero waste. Bath, I'm doing your bath in the environment. It's, it's a very practical way to shop because, uh, like she said, uh, you get only what you need and the cost savings that you get from a lot of products. Uh, take, for example, herbs. Um, it's something that you pay three to four times or even up to five, ten times uh, the price if you buy it in small packages versus uh, doing, uh, weighing up your own uh, packages because that's what we do on the back end as well. We bring cost savings to our customers by uh, buying in bulk and uh, negotiating that kind of uh, price for our customers. Mindfulness. Whenever you're doing your shopping, whenever you're doing your eating, whenever you're doing, doing your drinking, be mindful of what you use and ask yourself, do you really need it to be in this packaging? you really need to grab you know, an extra tissue to wipe up or can you use a handkerchief or can you use a cloth or something that you can wash instead. It, it's more about a lot of common sense uh, because we've, got, we've gotten so desensitized and used to the convenience of using something and showing it. So mindfulness is a major I think also there are very simple basic steps <coughs> um, that try to remember. So the first step is always to refuse. Okay, Refuse what you don't need. Only take or use what you need. Okay, Reduce. Reduce in your consumption of usage of what you already have. Right. Um, reuse whatever is existingly available to you. So if you need like a container, go to your cupboards, try to find something that you can reuse. Okay, uh, You don't necessarily need to buy it because you know it's new or just reuse whatever you can. Recycle. Um, if all of this don't work, then you have to recycle um, as much or as little as you can. If you have managed to achieve these first three steps, then you don't need to recycle as much. Also, because it's bound by uh, local um, recycling uh, methods. And rot. Rot are all the things that you can compost, things that you can put back to the nature so that it you know, can help flourish and grow. So, yes. Very five simple steps and the first one is always refuse.